Hey there folks, my name is Dazerin and welcome back to Resident Evil Remake HD. I got the settings fixed, now we're running at full 60 frames, and we're running in full screen at 720p. Apparently what you have to do is you have to set it to 720p first, then set it to full screen, and then it works magically. I don't know why, but for whatever reason. And now everything seems to be much better. Alright, now let's get back to what we were doing. Uh, what were we doing? We were doing something. We were just uh, we were just we're just walking around right now trying to discover what is locked and what is not locked essentially. So is this room locked? Yes, it is. Everything seems to be moving much better now. Okay, that's that's much better. All right, sweet, 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 sweet. Whoa, A little freak out there. That's see, this is the one thing about like with uh. With the older, like, Devil May Cry style controls, as soon as the camera changes, I'm still holding the same direction with the analog stick, which can be kind of disorienting. Like, you know, right there, it's not a bad transition. Right here, I'm still pressing down and to the right, but I'm going up and to the left. So it's something you gotta get used to if you wanna play with this kind of control scheme. All right, so all of these rooms are locked. Okay, I'm trying to remember where I need to go and what I need to do. And I will probably do this kind of marathon thing again where I don't save at the end of every episode because obviously you run out of ink. You run out of ink ribbons with that kind of mentality. So I'm gonna be kind of marathoning it for a while and just see how it goes. My old friend is still there. I can hear him. All right, now I know I have to use this to get th up here. Because there's no stairs over here like there were in the re or in the original. Hi, how are you? How much ammo do I have? You still have your knife the knife in your head? No. You look really like good. They did a good job remastering you. Oh come on. Die! Just die already. Are you dead? Are you actually dead? Let me reload here. Alright, because I think I do need to get behind him. Whoop! Yeah, I have to... Nope, you're not. Now you are. Alright, so I'm gonna... Push it! Nope, a little bit more. Push it! So I can get... You're not dead yet? Die! Yep. Jesus. There we go. Okay. All right. Now let's get the map. I really wish I had a lighter. That is definitely the downfall because I can't light them on fire. I cannot burn them. All right. There's a map of the mansion. Take it. Yes. All right. So now we got ourselves a mansion map. Okay. All right. So we've been all the way to the third floor. Okay. 100% items in progress. All right. Cool. Was there anything else in here? I don't think there is. Pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Various art supplies. Whoop. See you later. Ah. All right, so now that I got the map, now I got an idea of where I can go, where I can't go. Because it'll show me where things are locked, where things are okay. And so, for example, how do I just switch to the map? Is it... I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, what do we got here? That's the second floor. Is that a door there? I don't remember there being a door there. There might be a door there. That would make sense for there to be a door there. Let's try that. 
because I don't again I don't really remember everything about this this is really pretty in 60 frames no there's no door this isn't Resident Evil 0 what am I thinking um, this look game looks beautiful in 60 frames it does it looks great I love I, I I really love 60 frames a second I think it's awesome I I'm also one of those people who really liked watching uh, the Hobbit in 48 frames a second like I thought that was awesome so go ahead and take that might as well this door is the door we came from this is not the door we want to go through yeah that takes us right back here that is not where we need to be I need to check this other door, because I don't think I did. Okay, that one's locked. All right, so I guess we will go through this one. All right, if I could just remember where I need to go, because it's been so long, and what I need to do. All right. Hi, mirrors. All right, Crimson Head. No, he's still just dead. All right, um, go ahead and take a green herb and take the other green herb and combine them. Yes, so that I have them at least. All right, so double green herb, that just takes us up to the third floor. Oh, I'm trying to think of what other lock picked root, what other doors or where's the creepy music i thought there was creepy music here wasn't there am i just crazy i could have sworn there was some kind of like creepy music in this in this area there's a corpse collapse on the floor like it was an instant death what the hell happened in this mansion okay that's just herbs that i don't need all right and that just takes us right back to that other room oh Fred. Oh, Fred. Fred, I gotta get by you, dude. Fred. Actually, you know what, Fred? I'm gonna go in this room. Oh, damn. Fred, don't make me do it. Okay? Don't make me do it, all right? All right, Fred? Okay, Fred? You gonna let me pass? Thank you, Fred. Thank you. I love you, Fred. You're my best friend in the world. I'm sorry, Fred. I can't talk to you right now. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll see you later, Fred. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Fred. Damn it. All right, elevator it is. Get back to the elevator before Fred kind of, before Fred gets to me. Uh, there's an elevator here. It doesn't look like you can access it from this floor. All right, Fred. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Fred! No! Fred! Don't do it! Okay, hang on. Let me look at the map here. No. Map. Okay, so I'm in this room. That's all locked. What am I missing? I know where that gem goes that's on the floor uh, in that room. I know where that's supposed to go, but I can't get to that right now. There's the key up there. Don't I have to replace it with something? Or am I just... Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe there is... Maybe I can take it, and I'm just not thinking straight. It has been a while. All right. I need to get another indentation where the emblem used to be. Right, the em the emblem. Okay, let's take this. Yes, I know where that's supposed to go. <clears throat> All right, so let's go in here. We'll go back up there and try it. I don't think I'm supposed to... And I can't go in there downstairs yet because I know I need to have something to go in there. Is this locked? Oh, no, it's not locked. <laughs> Silly me. I'm a dummy. All right. 
There we go. And there's there is a guy out here, isn't there? There's also shotgun shells. It's a lot from the other side. Damn it! Come on, use your, use that use that pick lock pick you have. Can I? Do I have to equip it? Maybe. No, I don't think so. I think it'll automatically lock pick something if I can. All right, there is there are shotgun shells here. So I will not take them yet just because I don't have a shotgun, so there's no point in having them. Ah, the arrow goes here. That's right. Okay, so put the arrow there. Oh, right, 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 right. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. There we go. All right. There we go. Go on down. Going down. They definitely, I think they ramped up the sounds too. They sound different, that's for sure. They, they sound clearer. All right, so this is where we got to put in the masks. There's the Book of the Death. Or Curses. The Book of Bad and the Book of Good. All right. Examine. It's titled Book of Curses. Well, let's... Oh, yeah. There's a key embedded on the back cover. Will you remove it? Yes. The mansion key. All right, let's read it. Book of Curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. I still think that's a really kind of bullshit puzzle because it should be see no evil speak no evil and uh what is it see speak and hear no evil so this is the sword key yay there we go now we can go some places awesome see i i, I have a better idea of what i'm doing now I, I i don't remember everything but i remember some of this stuff i know what i'm doing to a certain extent right that's a lot from the other side. What were some of the sword key rooms? That would be a nice thing. Like, if there was on the legend, like, which doors were sword key and shield key and all that stuff. That would be nice. That would be a nice little addition. But I don't think that happens. Map. No, there's no legend of any sort, so. All right, so now this is going to be a guessing game trying to figure out which doors are the sword key. Let's try down here. Let's try our favorite room. With our first, well, second zombie encounter, but first one when we're by ourselves. Hopefully he hasn't turned into a crimson head. Good. Even if he did, he's trapped behind there, so I don't think he can get to us. Hopefully, at least. All right, doggies. Some of these are pushable in director's cut. I wonder if they are here as well. Yes, they are. Okay, dagger. Do I need that? I don't... Will it take the place of... Or will it just get added to the same inventory? Okay, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you sons of bitches. Nice. That was well done. That was well done. All right, and I think under here is, oh, wrong direction. This way. Yay, ammo. I will take the handgun magazine, you bet. Cool. All right. So we all know what's gonna happen in that room eventually, but we gotta get to that point. I still think that this is one of the creepiest, like, intro camera angles ever. Because I just expect a zombie to just come in off screen and, like, grab me. All right, anyway. That goes outside, I don't think. Oh, I used the lockpick. Okay, there are dogs out there, but we're, so we're not going to deal with that right now. Oh. If you guys have watched the original Resident Evil remake playthrough, you know why I hate this room. You know why I hate this specific camera angle. God... Mm. 
Mm -mm. No. Hate, hate it. I hate it so much. All right. Was there anything in here? No. I don't want to do it. Was there anything in the bathtub? Is there anything of any use in there? Because I don't think there is. I think it's just a zombie, and that's it. And I don't want to deal with him. I really don't, okay? I don't feel like it. I don't know if he's going to burst out of that door or not. I guess we'll find out. Okay, good. And eventually, obviously, there's the part with all those two. All right. So let's get the shotgun. Wait, I don't have any room for the shotgun now, do I? Yeah, I'm all filled up on stuff. Well. Hmm. Guess we'll come back to get the shotgun. Ah, we'll go to the save room and just store stuff away. And then we'll come back and get the shotgun. Works for me. Because it should be through one of the... It should be coming up soon, I think. Pretty sure we're coming up to it. There's a zombie in here, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. Okay, what room is this? Aha! Here we go. Oh, God, get off me! Alright. Are you dead? Nope, you're not dead. Oh, his shot! Yeah! You won't be coming back at all. Yay. Mouse, get off screen. All right, I forgot to exit all my programs again. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna store stuff. Okay. Put that there. Put that there. What's this? Full canteen. Do I have a lighter? There's a lantern lying on top of the supplies. The warm light makes you relax. That's not what I was looking at. Special checks for disposal of dead bodies. They may appear to be dead, but to come back to life. Incineration, destruction of the head. Okay. Yes, I will take the handgun magazine. Is there anything else here? No. So how can Jill, who doesn't have... There's still plenty of kerosene left. Jill does not have a lighter. So how do I get rid of them if I don't have a lighter? That's the question. I don't know. Also, there were no ink ribbons in there. I'm just kind of surprised. I feel like every time you go into a save room in some of the other Resident Evils, there's an ink ribbon. So I'm a little surprised. Oh, my dagger. I can pick it back up when it's a headshot. Awesome. Hi. I hear you up there. Look, it's ready to fall apart. That's right, you can only go through this door a couple of times before the, the handle breaks off. I think it's two or three times you can go this direction. But once you do, then you start to start going around. So, yeah, I take the long way. All right, so now we're gonna get the shotgun. So we'll get the shotgun. Hopefully it's not like Resident Evil Zero where it takes two places. I don't think that's the case. I don't remember it being the case. They changed the camera angle. Interesting. It wasn't up above like it was before. All right, so... Ooh, another dagger. Oh, ink ribbons. I'll take those too. Sweet. Yes, I will take the ink ribbons. Cool. Take the shotgun. Yes. Awesome. I think that's it in here. Picture stands, bronze statues, nothing of interest. Traces of something burnt here, could smell permeate to the air. Okay, so don't need to worry about it. I think that's everything for that room because we're about to get crunched. Crunchy crunch. What is that? Oh no! Ah! Barry, help me! Ah! Ah, I'm gonna die! Barry! 
Somebody help me! Uh. Oh okay. God. What did I do now? Hey, what did you do, Jill? Wester! Help! Barry! Help! Barry just Jill, happens to be in, in there. there. Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Oh, so the Stand ceiling's back. coming down on me! Grab my hand! <sighs> you were about to be a Jill sandwich. I like how she like kind of slides it. Like they actually like have you slide out. That's cool. It's a nice little touch. Barry. <laughs> that was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. <laughs> Thanks. So bad. But Barry, it's so did bad. you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? The door's closed I just again. I had something I wanted to check. Anyway, How did the door magically close? Searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Thank you. Barry. Thank you. Yes, there you go. I owe you one. Don't mention it. All right, we're getting. What a great guy! Uh, that's a great achievement. <laughs> oh, Barry. What a great guy. Barry is a great guy. All right, and then this is Spencer Family Emblem. And that's locked, and that's the armor key. And then I can't go out there yet, I don't think. There's no point to. So let's keep exploring. And actually, why don't we save? It's been about 20 minutes, and yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save. Got five save slots. Well, five ink ribbons. Plus, you know, we just got the shotgun, so I'd like to have the shotgun. All right. Yep. You can save your progress. Yes. Oh, this, this is in 4x3. It's so weird. All right. Cool. So we can go and get those shotgun shells now that are back outside. That'll give us 12 shots. So that's good. All right, so... <clears throat> We got a zombie on the right side here. So we're gonna go this way. Okay, that one's locked. Remember back here is where you face the snake. Shut up! Yeah, this, the snake was in one of these rooms, at least in director's cut. I honestly don't remember how I got rid of the snake in the remake. It's an unlit fireplace and there's the, uh, the, the map. Okay, that one's locked. That's a helmet key. All right, so at least I know. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. No, I think that's it. All right. So that's all that that's, yeah, that's all that's in that room. So we'll move on from there. Um, all right, let me see if I can bait and dodge this other guy. Say up. You unlocked it. Awesome. I think this just goes right back out to the main dining room. I think this is the door to the dining room. Pretty sure. No. Okay, it's not. Oh, it's this area. Okay, I know where, where I'm at. Okay, so we have the, the gas puzzle. Which, that's going to be fun. What's that? Dog whistle. Oh, yeah, the dog whistle. No. What's that? Botany. It is well known fact that there exist many plants that are credited with medicinal healing powers. Okay, this is about making herbs and stuff. All right, I'm good. Lighter. Oh, lighter. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so, all right. We're going to go a bit on a trek here. We're going to go and try and get rid of all of the zombies that we've already taken care of. We're going to try and make sure that they don't turn into crimson heads because that is the last thing I want to happen right now. That is the last thing that I would want to happen. So we're going to try and get rid of them. Hey, buddy. Get right by you there. Hope you don't mind. Okay, we're going to go grab some kerosene, fill this thing up. And be on our merry way. All right. 
Do I? I forget how this. There's still plenty of kerosene left. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, so I need to grab. Let me open this up. Let me put away the ink ribbons. That's what I'm gonna do. And survival knife. I don't need that. Yes. Do I need to combine it? No. Yes. Okay, no, I don't remember how to, I don't, I don't know how this is supposed to work. Cause obviously like when I did this before, I didn't know about the whole burning the bodies. And so I never did. So I actually don't know how this mechanic works or how I'm supposed to do it. All right, I'm gonna go back through here. Okay, I think I have one more time that I can go through this door before it breaks. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully that's it. Hopefully I can still go through it for one more time. Oh, God damn it. Okay. I just realized where I'm about to go back to. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. Good. See you later, buddy. I do not want to deal with you. Oh, we got dogs. Dogs don't come through yet. Not yet. Damn it! Okay. Seems to be dead because it's not aiming anymore. Okay. Damn it! Seriously! Alright, that one's dead too. How am I doing on health? I'm still fine, alright. That did not go as I had wanted it to. No, not examine, combine. That went nowhere near pl as planned. Not at all. Great. Whatever, moving on. Okay, this guy we can burn. Although, do I really need to burn him? He's just gonna be behind there. I don't care about him. He's not He's not one to worry about, really. The, uh, the one upstairs in, uh... Barry. Oh, Joe. Oh. Got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't be much safer <laughs> here, either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right, then. Let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? Oh, do I have room? Fizz. It's can of... yellow and mellow those things. Oh, the grenades. It's yours. Tell me I have space for it. I should have. Yeah, I should have. I have room for it. You got the acid shells. Thanks, Barry. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. <laughs> I see. All right, then, Barry. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Sounds good. Ciao. Ciao for now. Oh, Marv. This reminds me of Marv. Good old Marv. All right. So I need to go upstairs. I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh, I can't get the shotgun shells now. Darn. All right. Go up here. Hopefully this guy hasn't turned into a crimson head yet, because I'm gonna burn him and I'm gonna burn the other guy. Okay, he's not he's not turned yet. Good, 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 good. Awesome. All right, so how do I do this? Yeah, yo. Not taking any chances. Awesome. All right, so now just to get rid of the other guy, hopefully this one, this one is a kind of a key one that I hope has not turned into a crimson head yet. I'm really hoping this one has not turned into a crimson head. No, good, 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 good. Yes. 
<laughs> burn, baby, burn. Yay. Awesome. Okay. Whew. All right, so let's take a look at a map here. Actually, let's see. Can I open this door here? No, it's locked from the other side. Okay. Try to remember which doors I can still use the sword key on. Locked from the other side. Okay. All right, so I've taken care of those guys. I don't have to worry about them at all. They're not going to turn into crimson heads. I'm learning from my last experience with this game. At least I'm learning. You use the sword key. All right, cool. I, I am learning from my past experiences and past faults, so that's good news. All right. Oh, this room. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. There's another save room down. Is there a guy right here? Yes, there is. Okay. And then there's... Can I already... Can I go ahead and just use this? Oh, I can't because I don't have it filled up. He's not dead yet. All right. Looks like this one's been dead for several hours. Okay. Well, that's not what I was looking at. I wanted to go in the door. All right. And here's the other save room. Yay. We found the other one. Okay. So in here, do we have... We have uh, the serum here for that. Oh, oh God. Okay. Shelves full of pills and elixirs. Many of them changed colors. Okay. So that's to save my game. All right. All right. So we're going to end the episode here in the save room. Yeah, we're making progress. Feels good. Feels real good. <laughs> oh, man. I, this was like disorienting. Because you can, like, get so confused. All right. Anyway, so that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys will make this channel happen, and I thank you very much for that. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.